So now that I'm a full-time trader, very recently I now wake up between 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. and the first thing I do is check my phone. And now that it's becoming colder in London, I have to mentally prepare myself to brave the cold. And honestly, this can last anywhere between five minutes to even 30 minutes. Now, the first thing I always do is I make my bed. And I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the Navy SEAL and the author of the book, Make Your Bed. And essentially the premise of the book is that if you make your bed in the morning, you would have done the first task of the day. And that will give you a small sense of pride and encourages you to do another task and another task and another task. And by the end of the day, that first task completed, which was making your bed, turns into many completed tasks. Once I've made my bed, I make my long way to my desk and I pour myself a lovely glass of breakfast which is room temperature water honestly if i have anything other than tea coffee water then i will literally be straight back into bed so call it intermittent fasting or i'm just not hungry i like to keep it a fasted state most mornings because that really helps with my productivity and getting into flow state anyways i open up the charts and i just go through my checklist and see if anything's moved or changed while I was asleep during the Asian session. And I kind of just stare into space as I slowly wake up. And at this point, I'm usually listening to some kind of music and that tends to be either lofi or Christian worship music. Uh, a playlist that I'm loving right now actually is the Chill Hops Campfire Lofi. And the vibe is actually fitting right in with London weather at the moment. Um, and yeah, usually at this point, I am telling myself that I don't need a coffee. Fun fact, the optimum time to actually have coffee is actually 45 minutes after you wake up. So after forecasting for about 10 minutes, I whip open my new journal, which is the five minute journal. And I love it because it has two sections, a morning and a night section. And in the morning section, it asks for three things that I'm grateful for, three things that would make today great, and then a couple affirmations. Now, this is a new system and process that I've implemented into my morning routine ever since coming out of my job and becoming a full-time trader. And before I would actually use Muji notebooks where I would just sort of hand write my affirmations, values and my daily goals. But I just thought I'd spice things up and try something new. Again, I think when we're going full-time, it's always a great opportunity to try and test new things that might benefit you and to take things out, question certain systems and processes that you have now and to ultimately just evolve and optimize yourself even further. But if you guys wanted to check out this five minute journal, then I'll definitely leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. So after writing out my answers and my affirmations, reminding myself that I'm not a potato and that everything's gonna be fine, I tend to visualize and raise my energy for the day. So I'll share what I've been visualizing recently and that is me absolutely crushing this five day fast or this five day detox fast that I'm going to be doing mid-October. I recently did a 40 hour fast and I'm doing another one very soon but I've been visualizing myself just crushing it, feeling at peace, not feeling hungry and I get all five senses involved. Really this just programs my mind and sets me up for success and a couple examples I've visualized before was me you know getting my FCMO funding moving out you know how would that feel and all of this is just to really raise your energy and raise your vibration to a higher state of consciousness and i think this is such a powerful method if you allow yourself to do it and if you can tap into it properly now after all that i'm ready for my coffee so i head downstairs i brave the cold and i whip up my dolce gusto machine which is what i use for my coffee um, I usually go for a flat white, but all I had today was an Americano. So I have that with coconut milk. Once the coffee is secured, then I head back upstairs and I tend to read a chapter or two of Psalms. This allows me to go through the day with some sort of intention or focus. And to be honest, sometimes I read at night or during the day. This is something that I'm not too strict on, um, but most of the time I read it in the morning. Then usually the last thing I do before going into a work block is I do this thing called brain dumping. And this is something again that's new in my systems and processes and in my morning routine and all i really do is i just dump everything that's on my mind things to do all these little bitty tasks anything that's on my mind i kind of just write it out and i'll definitely share more about this in the coming few videos and i'm basically dumping all these things in there and i'm scheduling them for later for me to do tomorrow or the next week 
it's just really been helping me feel less overwhelmed and allows me to have a clear mind and to go through the day with a little bit more clarity knowing that this idea or this thing that I had to do is out there somewhere and I love doing this right before my work block and gives me enough mental space to go into my work block. Now by the time this is all done I should be ready, present and prepared to go into my work blocks and then I look into my daily goals on my to-do list where I would have already prepared that the night before. So that is pretty much my morning routine so far. Um, again, I'm just trying and testing things out and I thought I'd share a few nuggets of how I wake up and optimize my mornings to set me up for mental clarity for when I have to back test and do work blocks and just be able to think clearly and be present and hopefully be more happier and joyful throughout the day. Now, of course, this is just a rough structure. I'm never like this 110% of the time. You know, sometimes, you know, I'll, like I said, with Psalms, I'll read that in the evening or I, I might even just miss a day. Sometimes I feel like doing some stretching in the morning or some kind of physical activity, it really depends. Uh, maybe the markets weren't as active and, you know, I'm happy with just staying in bed for a little bit longer if I'm completely honest and you know I can check the charts from my bed um, so it's it's never perfect it's never a hundred percent but the thing is is that I'm aware that I have some kind of structure or a path that I'd like to adhere to and I'm not gonna beat myself up if I didn't follow it to a T if ever we do deviate from it then we know that we can come back to this baseline I think for me that's how I see my goals and my routines and my systems and processes that they don't always have to be fact and they don't always have to be 100% and that way of thinking has really helped me and so far is really helping me especially as I'm transitioning from having a really structured day with my day job to it being all on me now and having that self accountability. At the end of the day, you're gonna be with yourself. You gotta take you wherever you go. So if you are frustrated with yourself and you're always having this negative self talk that, oh, you can't stick to a rule or a system or a guideline or a routine, then that's not gonna serve you. And that's something that I actually had to go through, especially at uni, I'd be very hard on myself. I'd set myself like unrealistic to-dos and like routines like, you know, finish an entire paper or write out my entire lab report in like a couple of hours. So I think it's, it's okay to have ambitious routines or goals, things that might be insane to think of, but at the end of the day, it's okay if we deviate from them. I think the main point we have that routine is so that if we do deviate from them, we know that we have this almost point of neutrality to come back to. So if you've made it this far in the video, then thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna leave a couple of cards on the top right hand side of the screen if you guys wanna check out more videos. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.